What is that? Greetings, sorcerer. Hmm. You didn't recognize that map in the intro video there. You're probably wondering what in the world is going on here. Oh, that map was used to play Sorcerers in the Magic Kingdom at the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Before the game was discontinued on January 24th of 2021, you would get one of those maps, you got a free pack of cards, and you'd search around for these hidden windows throughout the different lands in the Magic Kingdom. The premise of the game was that the wizard Merlin was recruiting sorcerers to beat these villains that were taking over the Magic Kingdom. So you, as the sorcerer of the Magic Kingdom, would find these hidden windows, show your card that you wanted to cast, and try to defeat these villains. It was actually a really, really in-depth game, and I kind of regret really only focusing on the cards. I loved the artwork on them, and I loved seeing the different effects that would play on the screen as you were playing. I'm sad to see it go, so that's kind of why I wanted to bring something similar home. So during this video, I'm going to show you how I recreated the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom game at home. I used a Raspberry Pi for the web server and to host a Python script. Our keyhole at home here has a Raspberry Pi and an RFID reader inside, much like the Magic Band reader project that we did. Um, I'll link that video below if you're interested to check that out. I was able to use same Raspberry Pi, same setup for the RFID reader. The Python script referenced in that other diagram, that actually writes a timestamp to a file that's on the Raspberry Pi. Now, the only time the app will actually open is if the timestamp it receives from the Raspberry Pi meets certain qualifications, meaning is the timestamp more recent than the last timestamp I received. But to give you a quick overview of the application itself, it is an Android app. Google actually had a great sample project using MLKit that I was able to actually just strip out things like face detection, object detection, and just focus on that text recognition. So from there, I just needed to add logic as to which animation should play based on text that is found on the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards. Here's a look at that Google sample project running the text detection on one of the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards. Now you can see it's not quite perfect with what it's finding, and a lot of that could be the font of the card. It may have some trouble reading that, but for the most part, it does pick out the majority of the words accurately. And then here, I just wanted to show you what like a whole page of Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards would look like. You can see it's picking up everything. Now this is what is running in the background of my application. You won't see this in my application because I kind of have layers on top of it. All right, the keyhole is done. As you can see, the top is just a really thin piece with the sort of design elements here with for the actual keyhole and in the corners here. The bottom just has some thickness to provide room for the Raspberry Pi to sit in, as well as a little hole here for the Raspberry Pi cord to come out. So just some hot glue around the edge here and we should be good to go with this. Part of the fun of playing Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom was finding where the windows were where you would scan your magic band. So I thought to kind of mimic that, I could use this fireplace. I'm thinking I could project the app onto like a black sheet or something in the fireplace. We have a projector and a Chromecast that I think we'll be able to use to do that. And it'll be the first time the fireplace has ever been used here in Florida. So thumbs up for that. You know how I mentioned that whole, we'd never use the fireplace in Florida. Well, I found out one of the doors doesn't open. So I think I'm going to use this like styrofoam uh, project board instead. It's like a perfect fit to cover half of the fireplace. So it'll still give off that hidden element that we're looking for for our Sorcerers the Magic Kingdom window. I have the Chromecast plugged into our projector and I'm casting the Android device's screen to it. You can see Merlin pretty clearly there. So I think this is gonna work great. I wanted to give you a look at the setup here before we do a a final walkthrough of the application in action. You can see here we have the keyhole which is connected to the power supply. Underneath we have the 
Raspberry Pi and the RFID reader. Not very neatly put in there, but you know, it works. Right beside it, the Magic Band is ready to be scanned to kick everything off. Across the way on the couch, we have the projector, which is being propped up by this box here. Two neck gaiters and a 10 pound weight, which is just pushing everything down. Uh, you can see the Chromecast here coming out and the projector. Everything is plugged into this power supply here. Now I'm standing behind the projector. I'm going to show a card to the phone camera up there and then we should see some fun animations. Another point to note is that the server and the Python script are both running on the laptop off screen. Got my magic band, let's go ahead and scan it. After scanning my magic band, this screen comes up getting us ready to play. And then 10 seconds later, the first villain appears on the screen. I did only add one villain that we need to defeat and that's Corella. I added four cards that will work with this game. All the cards could be added, but just to save some time, I only added four. Now I'm gonna hold my cards up to the cell phone camera, just like I'm playing in the parks. Let's start with Donald. There's all the pinatas. Corella definitely does not like to party. Let's see what Quasimodo can do. There's all the bells ringing around Corella. And if you notice, it does just take one card to defeat the villain each time. And then there's a little break in between before she spawns up again so you can try a different card. Prince Naveen is up next. There's those frogs. Corella likes puppies. Last but not least, Apprentice Mickey's Broomsticks. There they are, sweeping her off the screen. If you notice, each animation pattern is slightly different and it's random as to which pattern you're going to get. See, that one's kind of more just a diagonal sweep off the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching about how I'm using my Sorcerer's the Magic Kingdom cards here at home. Let me know in the comments below what some of your favorite Sorcerer's the Magic Kingdom cards are and what sorts of effects you think would be cool to add to this game as well as how we can further gamify this, because there's definitely a lot of potential for that as well. If you like these sorts of theme park tech at home vlogs, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm already working on the next one. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next vlog.